We were watching some of the video earlier today uh, of investigators at the scene uh, of that house on campus where those four University of Idaho students were found stabbed to death now almost a month ago. Okay, this was the scene. Uh, many uh, investigators there with that U-Haul truck uh, were taking some of the personal items of the victims uh, that belonged to the victims and they were returning them to their respective family members. Uh, and we want to get an update on this story right now, too, because uh, police have just uh, announced that they are looking for something that might assist them in their investigation. We're going to be joined right now by uh, Live Now's own Andy Mack uh, in our newsroom. Okay, Andy, fill us in. What are police looking for, and why did they make this announcement now? Well, any news in this Moscow case with the four slain students there is big news. And we're getting news that they are looking for a potential car and the occupants in it as they are looking for. We had an update from the Facebook page. As you can see, they're speaking, hoping to speak with the occupants of a white 2011 to 2013 Hyundai Elantra with an unknown license plate. Tips and leads have led investigators to look into additional information about a vehicle being in that immediate area of the King Street residence during the early morning hours of November the 13th. Of course, this, the Hyundai Elantra, you can see there just a stock picture as investigators believe the occupants of this vehicle may have critical information to share regarding this case. And as you know, what police have told us is that these four victims were stabbed between three and four in the morning. The four students, they returned just early morning hours of this uh, November 13th in uh, in this residence in Moscow. And it was uh, between three and four that they believed they were stabbed. So certainly looking for the occupants of those uh, potential car, that white Hyundai Elantra. Of course, Leaf saw this earlier today. So we followed both of these cases here today. Uh, as they were over two hours packing up the belongings of the four murdered Idaho college students, including one victim's pink cowboy boots, Moscow police chief James Fry, and at least six other officers were in this residence early this morning. Uh, officers could be loading that U-Haul with plastic bins, boxes, and a white office chair, and also artwork. Fry told reporters at the scene that they had removed, quote, some of the things the family wanted and other belongings that were there, end quote. So certainly uh, a couple new developments we're getting here out of Moscow, looking into that Hyundai Elantra, that white Hyundai Elantra. So if you have information, if you were in the car or if you have information about who might have been in a car like that in Moscow, Idaho, on the early morning hours of November 14th, Moscow police are asking for your assistance as it's been nearly three weeks and we have no suspect or suspects or even motive in this very tragic case. Andrew? Yeah, you know, Andy, so uh, the information they posted, they uh, offered both an email uh, and a tip line phone number, that phone number 208-883-7180 if you have any information. Uh, and, you know, uh, the viewers have been following along uh, to this story ever since it happened here on Live Now. We've been speaking to our reporters there in Moscow. There have been such few details, scant information released by police. Uh, we've been hearing, though, uh, from the family members of some of the victims, from some of the parents. We've been showing, uh, you know, the vigils that have been taking place as this community is just still in shock because there is such, you know, little information at this point in time. And I know we kind of glean on to little tidbits here. I think this is quite quite large, quite major. They're looking for this vehicle. We don't know why, uh, but as far as this investigation and this story goes, this is as big of a development as we, we have got. Correct, and they usually post on this Facebook about some information. We've only seen a couple press conferences, but like you said, this is one of the bigger tidbits of information. And again, it relates to the car, the white Hyundai Elantra, but also the time frame in which this car might be in that area, as police believe the stabbings occurred between three and four in the morning. So they're looking for this car that may or may not have seen possibly a suspect. So they're hoping to get a break in this case with what the occupants of this car may have seen on those early morning hours back on November 13th. Yeah, it's interesting because we know that they towed away all the cars that were in the parking lot uh, of the house itself. So police are not saying, you know, where in the vicinity of the house on the street they think this car might have been, but they, they want it nonetheless. Uh, Andy Mack there in the newsroom here uh, on Live Now. We appreciate it. Uh, we'll check in again. Thanks so much.